Welcome back to All the Smoke, episode one. Blah. Hope you guys enjoyed episode zero, man. It's been a tremendous feedback. We love it. We appreciate the support. If you haven't seen it yet, go to Showtime Basketball YouTube channel. Our first guest of All the Smoke, him and Jack go way back. The one and only. I've always fucked with him just because I could tell he's a lot like me. Uh, never been teammates, but just always admired from afar, man. JR, man. Appreciate you coming Swish. through, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. Yeah, you know, brother. Brother. Yes, sir. Oh, we yeah, forgot bro. to do our handshake, too. Now we a little closer. Oh, we yeah, we yeah, ain't yeah, said, yeah. like, like, can you blow on your hands I, or drive man, I can't before help it you, I'm like, come on, bro. God damn. God from damn. Texas, me, dog. I'm from Texas, dog. Because I'm going my hands nice and moisturized, from Texas, dog. Man, you gotta go. Man. You know, it's hot out there in Texas. <laughs> man. 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 I don't know if you was playing with your nuts or what you was on hands. Sweaty as a bitch. Jergens, man. Jergens really works, dog. Okay. okay. Anyway, man, we here. <laughs> the opening night of the season. I mean, me and Jack talked about this before you got here. There's no way you should be sitting here right now, man. What's the latest? What's going on with you? We just caught word on, on social media that the Lakers are very interested. You know anything about that? Or I don't. Um, I mean, I, I worked out with them in the, in the summertime playing pickup like we always do, like mm -hmm. most of us have. And uh, But, you know, nobody's ever called and, you know, told me anything. So... But right now, I just try to stay ready. You know, whenever somebody do call, somebody looking for something, I'm, I'll be there to fill it in. I can, people crack me up because they're like, man, you still working out? I'm like, yeah, doc, I got to. First of all, I love the game. Warning. Second of all, I got to stay healthy for the rest of my life, bro. I'm not yeah. trying to just go out there and, and look like a football player after I got done playing basketball right. all my life. That shit happens so, easy, too. Yeah, I mean, we seen, y'all seen it. I mean, come on. We, so you, we come from a different crop, though, so I understand when you say you really love the game. Right. Like, people don't understand that. They they put their feelings into different situations about the game and things you've been through or we didn't been through, but they don't understand we just love the game. We love the game before anything, before we right. got to the NBA, you know sure. what I'm saying? And that's a lost art in the game today. It's just different. Really loving it. Different. Daily? You still working out daily? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're one, of, we, you're one of the people that me and Jack thought that kind of started these videos of working out with the trainers. You know, yeah. I think you're one of the first ones that kind of started with Chris back in New York. I think you and Mello were kind of the first one now, and now it's a it's a regular fixture on Instagram. It's yeah. one of the dopest shits to watch during the summertime because that's a few times where everybody comes together, no matter what your team or who you are, and you just hoop. And I think that's some of the best basketball. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's crazy because when I did it, it was like just showing people like how much I love the game, how much I appreciate the game. It was like, you know, so many people feel like, yeah, you know, I've been around players like, oh, I need my trainer, or I need this person, I need that person, I need somebody to rebound. Bro, all you need is the basketball and yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, that's how it started. That's that's how it I really was in the started. backyard. And me, I mean, luckily I had some my brothers and stuff like that, my cousins to be around. But even when they wasn't there, till, till the, it was dark by Child. myself. It didn't matter. Rebound yourself. Now I'm, I actually got a name, and I could pretty much get into whatever gym I want. What's what's holding you back now? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. No excuses. Is it the girls? Is it the cars? Right. Is, it the, is it the life? Is like what, what's holding you back now? Mm -hmm. And so many people like, and I, I kind of, I, I'm happy I did it because obviously it turned, you know, I helped turn it into what it is now. It's but viral now. now. It's, Every yeah, day. but now it's like you have they to do use it for it status. You. You yeah, for status saying? now. Yeah, now yeah. You, it's like it's it's doing it for clout. Yes. Now you clout chasing, now not just because you the love the game. Just the every, every player feel like this summer I got to get in one of those videos to make it look like I'm working out, to make it look like I'm playing with the best guys. Then you got guys like you, uh, Trey Young, that's really doing the work and going there to really get better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not just going to be seen. And it, it changes because that's how the that's how our youth thinks. Mm -hmm. These kids, all they want to see is Instagram. They want to yeah. see how many likes they get in, and instead of putting in the work to actually earn it, earn it, earn yeah. Because you know when we was growing up, so you gave us a pair of sneakers as an AU team. You was it. like, yo, got, man, and you see the shoes what? they got. I'm gonna get thirty. For, what? Me, huh? Man, what, what you need me to do? Who? And I'm winning. Who? And I'm winning him, to the he's party. He's number one. I'm going to get forty on him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying that was our right. that was our motivation. Any way to go destroy our opponent, but you get a pair of sneakers. Now it's like, oh man, I ain't get. 2,500 Instagram likes, yo, big bro, can you, throw, can you shout me out? Yeah. You can help me get a blue check. A blue check, bro, you could get your own blue check. You get a, a bigger check than the blue check that you worried right. about. Right. Like, what are you talking about? And it about? means more when you earn it. Right. <clears throat> Tell me the difference between, because I was always someone that you, you were one of the most skilled ball handling, off the, off the dribble shooters the game has ever seen. Like, I've seen you work out in person. I've Appreciate seen you it. just green light. 
but you're someone that bought into your role. Tell me what the difference is when you're able just to be you in the summertime and then understanding your role. You know, I was someone that understood my role. Although I could score and do more, I knew what the fuck they needed me to do, and I did it until I didn't want to do it no more. Right. You bought into a role, but you're someone that is that, you know, a, a legend when it comes to pickup. The thing about me was I always, that was always my role. You know what I'm saying? My, my role was always to come in and just, you know, up until the fight in New York, I was starting. Me and Melo was the highest scoring duo in the league at the time. Get into, a, get into the fight, AI come to the team, team shake up, uh, you go to the bench. I was like, oh, bet. So now I could just, all I got to do is score. And y'all saw it. And George was like, yeah, just go score as many points as you want. And then I was like, all right, well, cool. I'm just going there and put, put yeah. mines up and average 18. And then whatever the case, and then I'm out. And then it was like, all right, that came. That became my mentality, and then it was like, all right, well now it ain't even about the winning no more. He just wanted me to go get. He just wanted me to go get points. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I didn't realize that I wasn't helping my team because all I got to do is go get my points, and then you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to figure the rest out. Melo gonna get 30. I'm gonna go get 18, whatever. Chuck gonna get his 20 something, whatever. Kmart gonna get his. 12, 13, and 14 rebounds. MC going to do what he do. And then, you know, we're going to get to that Western Conference Finals. We couldn't get over the hump, but that's how the season went. How talented was that team? Man, I was AI, about to say. Melo, you, Kenyon. When I tell you, practice was a movie every day. Every day. And it was crazy imagine. because Kmart was like, this is, this is right after Kmart came from Jersey. This is the second knee surgery. Mm -hmm. And he came back jumping higher. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> I was like, man. He was a monster. Then we got MC, long as Blocking. Give me yeah. that. Give me yeah. that. Yeah. AR. Then Chauncey came. It was like, it was, it was, it was wild. What held y'all back though? Well, I mean, obviously we, uh, the West is strong, but what was chemistry? Because I know y'all fuck with each other, but sometimes that chemistry from like I'm fucking with it just don't work on the court. Was, was it any of that? What you think? I heard George wasn't a whole nut. Like, what was it that held you back? Because we had a similar situation with the Clippers where we had all the talent where we feel like we should have won a championship, but we ran into it. We, we butted heads too much as players. As players, we never butted. I don't think I don't think we butted heads as players. It was just like we weren't. I don't think we was a mature enough team yet. You know what I'm saying? We we had a we had a coach that was able to manipulate our minds, so we weren't mature enough to be like, yo, man, let me highlight you real right. quick. Mm -hmm. Such and such said this. Let me talk to you about it. You right. know what I mean? Opposed to... Oh, that's what he said? That's how you feel? All right, bet. Well, Fuck it. I'm going to go get my 35, and or I'm going to get my 20-something. And then, you know what I'm saying? And then it kind of it kind of wears the gap within everybody into almost just get your stats. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard because if, you're, if your main player is, is, is in that mindset, and then everybody else, I mean, the don't shut get, down. It, it, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Kmart to death, but Kmart's not the dude who's going to go get 30 a night. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. MC not that dude. You right. know what I'm saying? Lennox Clazer wasn't that dude, you right. know what I'm saying? Dante, you know, we didn't have, we, the, the dudes that was doing that was in that situation where it was like, we're going to try to, mm -hmm. they so tight, we're going to wear that friction, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And that's how it kind of infiltrated. And, and I don't blame, I don't blame him or them. I blame myself because I wasn't just, I was still young. I had a ton of money. I thought I was like, man, look, we going, y'all got to figure it out. Mm. Obviously, I'm not. I'm doing and what I gotta me. do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So I don't even start. So I don't even know how y'all even putting it on me. You know right. what I'm saying? Some days I play, some days I don't. You know what I'm saying? So it was like once once that came into play, it just it, it, it tore the whole team up. What age did you feel like you started looking at from a bird's eye view instead of everything being real personal? I think when I got to New York. When I got to New York, how many years like, in the game? Because you came straight out of high school too. A lot, you know, and that's special to be able to make it. You know, that's something Jack did. Uh, to be able to come in at an early age as, as keep it real, a boy yeah. playing against men and navigating your way through the whole process. So how long did it take you till you felt like, okay, I kind of look at it a little different? Honestly, it took me like 11 years, 12 years. Hmm. That's, that's, that's when I got to New York because it was like, all right, I'm, I'm at the crib, I'm home. That's crazy. And oh, yeah. everybody is like, all right, what is he doing? Where are you going to go? What are you doing? This? What are you doing? I'm like, damn, they, I'm really that important? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like, granted, I always had a name from high school and all that, playing ball, blah, 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 blah. But when you start, when people start talking about you every day, talking about your social life, talking about who you dating and who you messing with, this and that, <laughs> and I'm like, yo, I'm that important? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then I, I took a step back. I was like, wait a minute. Like, I ain't. I ain't ready for all that. Like I, play, I played in New Orleans, mm -hmm. played in Denver. 
I was in Oklahoma City for uh, a year. Uh, under the went radar. To China, then come out, come from China to back to the to, to the crib, and then I'm I'm not that guy, but I'm that guy on that mm, team. Yeah. It's like, damn. Well, it's crazy too, because it's not something we. First of all, we're not really taught how to handle any of this shit from right. the money. But then when you play in a major market, and for the first, you know, they don't teach you how to deal with all that shit coming nah. at you and how you're a target as soon as you step out of your house. Sometimes you're targeting your own house. Right. You know what I mean with, with with some of the shit. So they don't teach you how to navigate through that. And through that, I think all of us really had similar reputations throughout our career. For sure. You know, it, what I mean? very it was similar. Worse for y'all, because both of y'all played at home. Major markets too, yeah. but on and off the court. You know what I mean? Yeah, where I be sure. shit, where my shit's on TMZ and sports center for two right. di two different things. You know what I mean? Two different crazy things. Yep. You know what I mean? So it's just like to be able to navigate through that, shit, that's what weed helped me with. You know right, what I mean? Right. That was something that allowed me to be able to focus through all the bullshit because I still fucked for up sure. and made some mistakes, obviously, but it was something that made me just, you know, sit back and then just take a different view. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, okay, there's a lot of potholes I got to dodge, man, and, and I got to slow down and take a seat back and, and kind of recalibrate, refocus, and that's something that really got me... Because like I said, they don't teach us how to deal with that shit. They don't At teach all. us how to deal with, with, with everything on top of the money that, that comes trauma. with that shit. I mean, the, they forget that you had a life before the, they figured out who you was. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, before y'all figured out who I was, you realized, like, I had a whole I family. Already. I came from somewhere. I was standing for something. Like, I, this was, y'all just found out who I was. I had a whole life. Y'all just didn't know me. You really don't know. But you, you still really, don't know they, me. That's what I'm saying. They don't know you. They know who they think. You know what I mean? That's right. what, so, like, like I said, the perception of reality is, perception is reality sometimes. So they'll catch a glimpse of us two hours, you getting in a fight with the Knicks or some bullshit happened off the court. And I know what JR is like. I know what Mass like. Right. Jacks always fight. You know what I mean? They think they know who we are, but they never really get a chance to take that next that deeper look right and they and it's it's crazy because they don't they don't take the chance and they don't care to learn no. they don't care to, what's really going on with them like what's going on let me figure out how i can help them instead of kicking them down right. or keeping Step them down where right he at. Down. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like people forget i went to jail when i was in the league like you know what i'm saying i did 24 days in a 23 and 1 in the cell well i got millions of dollars mm -hmm. and they couldn't do for a month for and i couldn't do nothing with it. I'm reaching out to people. I'm calling my NBA boys, all these people. Yo, yo, yo. No, crickets. Mm. I'm calling coaches, crickets. Only person that came to see me once was Gert. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was like, that shit, that shit hurt me. I'm feeling like, you know what I'm saying? You my godfather to this. You my man. You, da, 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 da. you know what I'm saying? But So to deal with all that and come out, I'm on the warpath. I'm on the rage. I'm living my life. I'm, I'm, I'm reckless at this Fuck point. It. You know what I'm saying? But people, don't, people looking to like, well, he's just wilding out. I mean, Look at him. Don't, doing they don't know what, like, what, 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 what triggered that. that, what happened mm -hmm. between that. They don't realize they don't the trauma. Care, they don't, they, they don't like care. Said, they don't give a fuck. You know I'm mean? in an accident where my best friend passes away. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't ask me nothing about that. All you mm -hmm. want to know is did you do it or what happened? Was you under the yeah. influence? Yeah. How about what happened? Like, is Are you, you okay? good? Are like, you what, good? what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, people don't care to learn from that. No. You know what I'm saying? I think because we get paid a certain amount of money, they think we're not human still. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, Jack went through it when I lost my mom. You know what I mean? I played two days after she died. You know what I mean? And people don't understand. Like, we go through the same shit. Divorce, death, children, whatever. But we, we have to keep that game face on the whole time because we right. get paid a bunch of money. Right. You know what I mean? So you can't, you can't be human. You got to be this person. Like you said, they don't ever take the time to dig deep. You know what I mean? Like, okay, what he did this. What, do you, what, what might be the read? They don't give a fuck about that, and but, it's crazy. But what's crazy to me is why is it that an athlete or a basketball player is, high, is held to the higher standard as the president? Mm. He shouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, why is it that y'all look up to LeBron so much or Steph so much and y'all hang on to every step and toe that they do that it could just tarnish their career and then it go out of nowhere? But the, the highest seat in the country... It's just in the uh, world. It's good in the world. It's so the United States. I mean, I, I, I can't even say the world at this point. It, right. it can't be at this nah, point. Not nah, not now. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like that. It's still it's different like, standards. If you, if it, it's different standards. And what? Like you can't. Like I don't understand it. I just don't get it. It's crazy. But people think I'm crazy. But don't nah, worry about. I'm gonna crazy. try to figure this shit out on my own. Then y'all got it. You ain't crazy. You just you know your worth. And that's what fuck people up.
when they can't tell you what you're worth, that when they don't control the narrative, it's a new day now. You control your own narrative. They can't say they can say what they want about you, but at the end of the day, you have the same outlet to say what, to to speak the truth. Right. You know what I mean? You you can't just walk around and people just got to believe what they say. Now you can create your own narrative, and that's what's important right now. You got to give LeBron and all those guys credit. But when he came into the league, he created a situation where he can create his own narrative and speak his for own sure. truth, and nobody for around sure. can make it up for him. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and and nobody's done that until he got to the league. Now we're all able to do that. They can't right. say Stephen Jackson is doing this now. No, I'm on TV right now, Showtime doing well. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Everything you think about me, you know, that's bullshit. Mm -hmm. just, I'm right here. You can ask me. So right. that's that's where we at now. So they can't they can't sugarcoat shit no more. That's what I love about it. Cause you, you can really speak your own truths and you can tell and uh you can tell you can really tell where your fan base is really at. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's not just walking into the arena and they just rooting for the whole team. You see one kid or two kids with your jersey on, so such such. Oh, you my favorite player. And then you actually get to see where your fan base at and who who really who really rock with you mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that's special. Tell me what it was like being with Bron, playing with Bron, de developing more than just teammates, uh, a real brotherhood with him. It was crazy because I knew Bron since I was like 15. And, um, I used really? To, yeah, I used to go to Akron and uh, go work out with him and shit. And, um, how old were you at the time? I was 15, he was 16. Okay. And, uh, no, I was 16, he was 17. And um, just going back and forth, like, 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 damn, this one, like, he good. <laughs> like, <laughs> Motherfucker good. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm coming from the best dude in Jersey in the tri-state area, you know what I'm saying? It's like me and Sebastian and all that. I'm like, Flying, we in high school. He flying though. 220, 220 fly, <laughs> handles, passing, vision, and my thing. The thing I liked the most because I wasn't even a basketball player. I played football. He was dumb, nice in football. I was more jealous of the fact of football. Like, bro, <laughs> yeah. you got it in basketball. All right, cool. But you can't be scoring touchdowns like this and getting picks and all that. Like, damn, bro. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what that's what hurt me. But that was my that's my man. Like his work ethic and his drive changed my life. I think. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I looked at it from a different perspective. I was always a person who worked. And surprisingly, other than the Instagram, like posting my videos, I never, I was so insecure of my game. I didn't really want people to see. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want them to see the insecurities that I had of me missing shots. We and, all have and, them. You know what I'm saying? We all have them within yeah. our game because that's our craft. We love it so much that that's, you know what I mean? That's what it is. And he helped me, on, like, bro. It's a reason why you're here. It's a reason. This is why we're here. So we, when we get to those moments, we'll miss those shots. We do, you know what I mean? And he, and he pounded that shit into my head so much that every day we was, I was at the gym like three, four times a day. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't just like, because I was always, I, I'll go early, I'll wait till everybody leave, and then shoot late, and then i come in at night. But then, but he opened up a regiment for me to where I was like, all right, cool, I can shoot with you, I can shoot with you, I can shoot with you. When y'all done, I could go to shoot with him, then I could go shoot with him. I wasn't like that before. It was before it was like, all right, I'm gonna shoot by myself, or when Melo come in, I'm gonna shoot with him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or Novak, I'll shoot with him, cool. You know what I mean? I had my people, but mm -hmm. it wasn't like, I wasn't as open into working Just with people. Just everybody. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because I, I took my shit serious. Like, I don't, when I'm working on my shit, I'm not playing around me, it seem like I'm, Shooting some bullshit shots, but these are the shots that I know I'm gonna shoot. In the game, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And these these are my shots that I that y'all brought me here to shoot because you know I'm gonna shoot them. And when in the situation come, I'm gonna make that shit. Right. So people be like, oh damn, he took that shot and he working out like, yeah, motherfucker, this is my shit. Mm -hmm. I'm working on my shit, and I take that shit serious. So when when GMs and coaches and like, man, why is he over there working on that? Why is he doing that? I feel like I can't be myself within my right. within my job. To work on my my craft and respectfully, without somebody else already judging me on who I am, and now you judging my game on top of you, you probably don't even like me. Right. It's the, it's you know crazy. Cause that's, that, right. that 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 tells you, you know what I mean, the organization and their focus. Because I was someone that got to play with KD and Steph, and to see the crazy ass shots that they took, like the. The coaches understood it. The right. GMs understood it. The owners understood it. Like, okay, Steph is doing this spin around. Want left-handed flip shit, but Steph shoots them motherfuckers in the game, and he makes them. Right. KD is doing this off-balance one-foot shit, but KD shoots the off-balance one-foot shit and make it. Right. You KD, know what KD I mean? used to do that shit. So yeah. to go from an organ, a winning organization that, that encourages you to work on your game to you having to feel so insecure, like these motherfuckers are staring at me, tripping about my game. I think that speaks to, you know, the fact of winning. 
right, right. you know what I mean? Like them organizations. Then you go to then you go to Cleveland, where LeBron creates a culture where be you right. is the most important thing. But it work your ass off, and and, and it worked. And it's you, crazy you, because if I had that, I feel like if I had that earlier early in, my, on. in my career, two three years in, I was like, and I could have actually had my had it the way I wanted to. Whole different my, player. My whole, I'm a whole different player. My, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's just a, it's just a different vibe. And I don't live in the past, but I, that's obviously something that you know. You know what I mean? You know how. I mean, as when you coming up in high school and and you know as a kid, you got a, a certain way you want your career to go and you want to win championships and all. That. And then at a certain point, that shit don't happen. Then reality setting, like, all right, this is my role. This is my player. This is the type of person I'm going to be from mm -hmm. from going forward. That shit ain't easy to grasp sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, we got is, like yeah. you said you set a high bar you for yourself. You set a high bar for yeah. yourself. And you get to the where you wanna be. Right. Maybe you not maybe all right, cool. I ain't go number one pick, but I'm here. I'm gonna make my shit. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not gonna start now, but all right, cool. I'm gonna work my way. All right, cool. Now I'm a six man. All right, bet. I'm gonna start and then I get pushed back. Like you thinking about all of this shit, this is your timeline. Mm -hmm. This is your life. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And all of this Feelings and emotions, and then you get you start having kids. You get mm -hmm. married. You get all like add that to the mix. A lot you know of things saying? come into play. Like a lot, all that shit come into play. As basketball players too, we don't understand, especially being all being fathers and being dominant men. We take on roles just coming out the house for sure without mastering the roles that we get naturally. Brother, right. fathers, you know what I'm saying? It's things like that because we got so much thrown at us. But I wanted to ask you too. Tim Duncan gave me that confidence. Yeah. I see you was talking about LeBron and, and how y'all worked out together. I think Tim taught me that. And I think it's only certain players that got that in them that can that can get that out of us. Because yeah. we, we we similar. But Tim Duncan, able to work out with him and for him to embrace me, that gave me confidence. You know what for I'm saying? Sure. That's what I needed. Right, right. I, I wouldn't have been a professional. I didn't know how to show up. I didn't know how to work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't know how to get ready for games. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we was, you was talking about LeBron. Tim Duncan did that for me. Yeah, that's a, that's a fact. Like, just being the... Like overall being professional, like I had some really good vets. Like, you know, I always try to preach to come in and all the time and stuff like that. But I was in uh, uh, such bad cultures at times. <laughs> it was just like, shit, it ain't even like you waiting on me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I could be, if the bus is at 10, I could show up at 12.05 and I'm still not the last person. I'm the third <laughs> to the fourth to the last person. Right. So when I go to somewhere else and it's 12.05 and I come down and the bus gone, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, these are the ones that really left. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, all right, all right. Now I'm like, oh, all right. That's why I always say winning started at the top. And people are like, what does that mean? I mean, it starts with the owner. Then it starts with management. And it starts yeah. with coaching. You let shit slide and it starts getting sloppy. And then motherfuckers going to do what they do. Right. And they get comfortable in, the, in, 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 a, in that position. And then you just you can't win in atmospheres like that. You can win games, but you're not gonna win. Yeah, you know what I mean. And that's the thing. That's the thing. With, like again, like you said with the Clippers, you're so talented. We have so much mm -hmm. talent. Like you can have you so much too much. Go one, yeah, you can have too much. You can definitely have too much. Was we got one for twelve. We yeah. go to, when we go have practice. That shit was A live, war. bro. I can imagine. Like. We got people trying to switch jerseys, nah, man, like going back and forth. Yeah. But it's it's all in the competitive nature. We yeah. go we go to the locker, we talk shit, yeah, but we busting y'all ass. You know what I mean, y'all yeah. know how it goes. That's but how it's go. like, it's at the end of the day when we left, we all we all knew, man, that's my motherfucker. Y'all got we, better. If we get out of here, if something happened, we all gone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it was. That's how and that's how it should be. All the time. All the time. What's your uh, relationship with Melo like? I think you guys are in a similar boat right now. Two guys that could definitely st have the talent to Two still guys be getting fucked over. <laughs> Keep it real. Did he get that phone call too? The GMs do it or? Oh, no, no, no. They they sent out a mass text with, with Switch too. What did it say? Do not fuck with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all stop all that hate, man. Tell me what it's like knowing and seeing that you can still play in the game but not really be given the opportunity. It hurts, man. It's disheartening. It's, it's, it gives you an uncomfortable feeling, but... It's they league, right? You know what I'm saying y'all can do what y'all want with it. I ain't, mm -hmm. I ain't here to tell you, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Cause I got my business and all that, and you ain't about to come over here and tell me what I'm about to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I respect it from that matter, from the business standpoint. Um, but as a competitor, obviously you want to play. Obviously you're looking down on when you I, still can. Yeah, I mean, love no, you, you gotta like you gotta understand like, I, you know, I play ball. Yeah. I go to the, I go to 
gym in LA. I go to the gym in Houston. I go to the gym in Miami. I go to the gym in New York. You Chicago, just went to the wreck return. Wherever, where, <laughs> what, what the wreck return? But is it? I had no business playing. In there. <laughs> just but I just because I love the hoop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So in the midst of all of that, and this ain't no no like. No hating shit. It's just a matter of fact. He, he not better than me. He not better than me. He not better right. than me. He not better than me. Go down me. the he line. Not better than me. He not better than me. He not better than me. Right. You know Him in saying? the back either. Him in the back either. Right. And then when people look at me like, damn, yo, you really cocky. Like, no. You know how much I work to doing what I do? There's a difference. And when I see him and I see what they do and I see the, just the way they... Walk in the gym the way they hit. You not you not even comfortable with being here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I, I could, you know, you smell blood in the water. I walk this walk. You know what I'm saying yeah. I walk this walk yeah. all the time. For real. I know how to. I know where the lights is on this gym. I know where. To, I know who to talk to. I know, I know this whole this whole atmosphere. Mm-hmm. So when you walk in here and you looking around like who's in here? I smell blood. I mm-hmm. see you. Mm-hmm. You it's you know what I'm saying it, it, you can't hide. It's a good feeling. Especially in pickup. Ain't no refs, ain't uh, no coaches, no, ain't right. no, you can't, you can't hide. hide. You can't Come hide. here. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Come get this. Yes, sir. This wing. That's why I was looking at D Books and it was like, yo, they was mad at him for saying double, uh, yo, y'all can't double. Like, bro, first of all, who was doubling you? Why is, first, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, who, who was who? Who was that? I want to know who came to double. We need to talk. Why is you doubling yeah. him? Guard him. Guard him. We got that. I don't right. want. I, I don't care if he score a hundred. Take that. Take that. Yeah. You guard him. Different. Yeah. It's if you know time. how it go, but you it's know different. how it go. Yeah. But and then when now. it go down the other end, I'm going right back. Yeah. 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 That's how you I call go. Calling for double, man. I wish I was. I wish I was there. It's a different time. They had to play one on one full court when I was in there. (laughs) What? To twelve? To (laughs) twelve? Ain't no way. No way, bro. We come up different though, dog. Uncle man, John Lucas and all that, man. I was down there with Catino Mobley, Sam Cassell, Steve Francis, Mm -hmm. young boy, seventeen, young boy, Fundy. Yes. Yo, come in. Catino Mobley was destroying yeah, me man. every single me day yeah. in the workout. Me too. First step. Me too. Left hand, all that. Post up. I'm bigger than him, everything. Killing me. Yeah, yeah. Young fella, get through that. Yeah. You figure get out. through that. Figure that out. And you know, he the ISO king, so he going to oh hold the bar and wait till, you get, wait till he got you wait on the island. all the way. He's <laughs> and strong as shit, too. Shout out Cat, man. Realize. Shout Cat out Cat, Yo, Cat, Cat schooled me, Was bro. a killer. A killer. Was a killer. Who was the toughest person you ever had to guard? It's different for me because I got like, fortunately, when you play, I play long enough to where you play, you play through errors. Mm-hmm. So you, I can, I can go through like B. Roy was a problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> B. Roy was a problem. People yeah, always man. talk about people he, always talk about obviously Kobe and T. Mm-hmm. Max. Yeah. I always don't. But when I when you think about people who was a problem and people who really don't really give the the I respect have to have an understanding, like. He, he was a problem. Cat was a problem. Um, I said Ginobili. Problem. I disagree. Problem. <laughs> People don't even realize how much Karolinko was a problem Ooh. in Utah, he shut us bro. Down. He shut us down in the playoffs. And it wasn't even like it wasn't even like he's the guy. Mm-mm. He was just a problem. Ginobili was just awkward. Yeah. Right. Like he, like you never. He, he was just awkward, dog. You couldn't get it. Like you couldn't figure him out. For <laughs> you just, sure. You couldn't figure him out, dog. My first game, I actually played Reggie Kilton. So Reggie was a player. Miller? Yes. But it, it probably wasn't even no ISO. Bro, it was all picks. I just, Davis, tw- <laughs> bro. Every time. Come on, I know, And that young fella, listen, you got to you gotta duck your shoulder mm-hmm. and come around and, and pick, man. And that's big when they can really hit you with them big what? boys, too. And they, and they was moving back then. It wasn't no Davis bullshit. Boys. Oh, whoo, nah, move the screen. No, 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 no. You're going out of bounds, and it's Reggie. Right. Young fella, don't say nothing to me. Mm-mm. Let's go. Mm-mm. 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 You know what I'm saying? Nothing. I remember it funny. I actually hit Reggie in 2009 because I had to guard Ray Allen with Boston when I was in Orlando. Problem. And how, how do I get around these picks? What kind of tricks? What do I need to do? Because I couldn't stay with that motherfucker. And they were setting, Perk was setting these hard-ass picks. KG was setting these hard-ass picks. Like, and I hit Reggie like, yo, what do I need to do? And he told me, you know, grab his jersey, grab his arm before he take off, yeah. stick to his body, get low, cut the corner. So he was telling me all the shit that, you know, obviously people that try to do to him. But right. that, that shit is, st- people don't understand, like, Mm-mm. the game. It don't no. even have to be ISOs. Just, no, imagine, just imagine practice every day. I got to chase this motherfucker around because I'm, I'm the first two guard. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? This was his last year. So I got to chase him around. Right. Every day in practice, man, that shit get tired and it kills your offense because you ain't got no legs. No right. legs. That's why I say he keep, in great shape. 
People don't understand like how important Clay is to For sure. to to Golden State because he, Steph don't have to do that. What, he, he scored 50 something with, with, with three dribbles, four dribbles? <laughs> Killer. That's crazy. Killer. 2018, game one of the finals. Uh, you get the offensive rebound and dribble towards half court. Talk about that to me. What happened? The play before, we, it was a foul. Um, Wasn't LeBron pass to George Hill? Yeah. He was shooting free throws. Right. And I, I'm. I thought he made both of them, and he did. So I was like, all right, bet. So next time George get the ball on the free throws, I'm like, all right, bet. We get the ball, shit, they gonna, you know what I mean? We call timeout, whatever. They gonna try to foul anyway. So we do what we normally do. So all right, bet. So get the ball, nobody call timeout. So I'm like, all right, bet. I'm about to, you know what I mean? Dribble it back out then. Game, go back, game about to be over. I look at Brian. Brian like pointing like this. <laughs> oh, this was like, what the fuck is he pointing at? <laughs> hey, shit. I look over. Oh man. And then after that, I was just like, I know this shit ain't just happened. I know this shit ain't just happened. Not in the finals. <laughs> Not in the finals. I was about to beat these niggas. Say, so, but the the box out. The box out looked at, you didn't expect to get that ball because you had at KD all. right there. I had no. And there's no way you was getting the bro, rebound I over was, KD. Bro, no bullshit. I was, so, I, was so, I was so bent on going the other way and trying to steal the rebound because I, I was like, damn, this, if, if the ball come this way, I'm dead anyway. Yeah, get it. So I'm thinking if the ball go that way, I can, I can at, least, at least try and tip it somewhere. It anywhere. fell right in your hands, the dog. Ball felt, the, ball, the way it looked, the ball came right. I said, oh, shit. Grab the ball. I'm like, oh, all right, bet. <laughs> we get to the, bro, we get to the, we get to the timeout. I can laugh about it now. How long, hold on, before you, how long did it take to uh, to laugh about it? Because it was memes. It was all over the world. So it's gonna go down in history. I laughed about that shit that night. No, okay, he good. did in the chat room. You yeah, said something. Yeah. He said something yeah. in the you chat room that night. Can't, bro. Yourself, man, uh, he said that shit'll eat you up if you can't. He stay mad at it. He laughed that shit off. I ain't that dude, bro. I can't. I don't. I'm not a person to hold on to shit. I'm not gonna hold on to no grudges and all that. I'm a. F I'll never forget it, but I'm not going to. Let us fuck up, man. Yeah, Straight up. up. Let us fuck shit, up. We all fucked up. First time. <laughs> we <laughs> all just fucked up. My shit was in the finals. Shit. Man, shit. We all <laughs> fucked we all up, did man. It. We all <laughs> messed up. So what was the timeout like? Man, when I tell you, it was like, when Brian had asked, what was it? Uh, do we have a timeout? Oh, my goodness. And, he, and nobody wanted to answer the question. <laughs> I didn't want well, one either. Bro, well, I tell you, I'm telling him the, all the way, but what I'm telling him all the way to the bench, we got a timeout. I said, bro, why you ain't just call timeout? Why you ain't just call timeout? That's why we was talking about, but while he was like walking to the bench, I'm like, he asked, he's like, yo, we got a timeout? Do we got a timeout? And when I tell you, some of the players just looked away, <laughs> and the coaching staff looked like they could turn spooked white as a ghost, bro. I was like, "Oh shit!" Now I've replayed it. I was crying in my in my room. Yo, how did how, how I was did crying how laughing, did he get bro. the downy picker up or paper towel? Like he has a house paper towel, and just when he found out his bro. note, his, when he had time was left, he put it on his head and wiped his face. Where did he get the downy, the quicker picker up nah, the paper towel from? He always used that. He always, because he don't use the regular towels, you know. He so he has a, a, a roll of quicker picker uh, downy on the side? It ain't downy. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's some yeah, sweat towels like, shit, like, bro. Oh, man. I can't lie, because I be using them shits, man. <laughs> you know, them shits work, man. Motherfuckers be using all them same towels and shit. They be trying to wash them. I ain't trying with it. I saw that though. All the coaches were spooked. I, they I, were I spooked, seen it. Bro. Ain't so nobody want to say nothing. We got any time out? This is this is my thing though. Like if 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 it was if it's my fault and you want to pin it on me, all right, cool. G Hill but make the damn that. free throws first. Huh? G Hill make the damn free throws. None of this happens. I mean, it, it, that's why it go. It, it, it happens. You know what I'm saying? That's why I ain't. I can't be mad at him for for making the free throw. Shit, we couldn't. We we didn't have to be in a position to win the game. Yeah, Braun had an incredible game. Dog. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So. I hit T. Lou that night. I was like, oh, man, bro, I don't even know what to say. He's like, bro, what are you talking about? You made a basketball play. It didn't work out, and it, it, and, you mess, and, it, and it happens. I was like, yeah, bro, but I should have shot the ball, whatever, whatever. I said it to him. He's like, man, but what if you ain't get the rebound? Mm -hmm. Then the game would have been over anyway. Mm -hmm. So I was like, then I, that, when I thought about that shot, I was like, 
for. Yeah, you're right. It's a lot of hypotheticals. Yeah, there's, yeah. So, there's so many shit that, that could have happened or right. what I, and what did happen, it happened. And then we get swept anyway. So it's like, nigga, we got, we, we, okay, we won one game. Then he won four in a row. What, <laughs> yeah, what, right. what the fuck is the difference? But so, that game one, Braun, that game he had, that's one of the best games of his career. Oh, dog. for sure. Wow. For sure. And then they wow. go, oh, well, that, I would have changed the whole series. Bro, if, if it was a fifth, we all, <laughs> yeah, we'd be perving on oh, him right yeah. now. Fucked up. We all be drunk. Grandma had balls, she'd be grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Something, uh, oh, the, 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 shit. you know, when we played, we took serious. Your style, your culture, you know, you were the first one with the Supreme bands, and then they said you can't wear the bands, so you went and got the motherfucking tattoo, tattoo on the ass. On the leg. Where does your style and and and, and tattoos and, and tell me about that? I mean, I grew up like you know, like most you know, young African American kids coming to a lot of money. I ain't have a lot, and when I me growing up and around the way, you know, I got picked off for everything. You know what I'm saying? Except for my game. It's the only thing they could really mess with me about. Oh, you, your clothes is this, you that, you that. Yo, if I ever come <laughs> into the money, bro, if I ever, <laughs> if I ever, I'm gonna get this. My my one thing you can never tell tell me is my crib, my cars, and my clothes. And my that's, I'm gonna be straight. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And then once I fell into like, once I really understood who I am. I was like, it just made it that much easier because I'm comfortable in my skin. In skin yeah. See what I'm saying? So people, so many people, like, yo, why would you wear this and that? Because I'm me, and that's what I like. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It don't it don't have to be what you like. Mm -hmm. It's just that I like it and I'm comfortable with it. So people that's rock with my matter. shit. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what it, that's what fashion is. It right. ain't like you following the trend. Why do I gotta follow that trend? It's a it's a billion other people out here that's gonna like what I like anyway. Mm -hmm. Why do I gotta follow what you like? It ain't what you got on. It's who got it on. It's how, yeah. Yeah, how you, how you yourself. wear it. Yep. How you, you, you carry yourself with it. I mean, I ain't no person just walking around who's. Insecure and what I got going on. Oh, I'm a dope ass nigga. I know right. what I got going on. Right sure. Without you I'm telling me that. Without you telling me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know I'm a catch. Fuck you mean. Yeah. Right. What, what you want me to do? Yeah. BB. Yeah. Transitioning to something that, that you touched on earlier, but father life. And and, yeah. and we all, you know, kind of followed your journey. We're praying for you with your with your with your daughter that you went through a hard time with. It, but tell me what it's like. That situation, then overall, just being a dad and the joy that you know your kids bring to your life. Man, that that situation really molded me as a dad because it was like it changed my it changed my perspective. And people, you know, I told Brian this, and I told somebody else this. Yo, you, you you probably shouldn't say that again. I'm like, and I thought about it, I was like, nah, like, bro, if I, if God forbid something happens to my daughter, I'm done. I don't want to play ball no more. Like, the hell with all of this shit. I would and feel then, the same way. You know what I'm saying? And then over the course of time, she was getting better. She was getting better. And luckily, my I had broke my thumb. I had broke my thumb in Milwaukee. Um, so I had already been out. But I was getting healthier at the time. And then going through that situation, it was like, one day she's good. Then the next day, she be back in the, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? you back in the fire. And But my thumb was getting healthier. So it was you know, it's getting to that time for me to start, you know, working back, working my way back. Obviously, we're going to the finals and shit like that. And I was like, yo, if if, if something happened, I'm like, I ain't, I'm done. Like y'all, y'all can go ahead. Yo, I ain't, I'm going back to Jersey. We can set up shop, baby, because I can't, I can't come back from this to go hoop. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It's my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Like this is, it's, it's different for for me and the way I came up with my brothers and sisters and. My cousins and everybody. So, and uh, I, I told somebody, they was like, "Yo, don't don't tell nobody that. Don't tell me." That. And I did an interview when I came back, and she made it out. And I was like, "Yo, I'm, I would, I was about to walk away." You know what I'm saying? And, and I've been through instances where coaches and I ain't had my. I felt like I had my fair shake, and you know what I'm saying? Just felt like I was getting overall cheated by the game for the, what, what I, I gave to it. But in that situation, I ain't give a damn about nothing. None of that shit matter. You know what I'm saying? You could. There's nothing that I could have. There's nobody that I knew. And even if I did have the amount of money that could have made her better, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So when when I got when I realized that, and I got again somebody like Brian, we know plenty of people with plenty of money. It's just like there's nothing that nobody. There's nobody that I can call. Mm -hmm. There's nobody. There's mm -hmm. nothing. If she gone, then I ain't, nobody got, I ain't got that. nothing. 
Can't nobody fix that. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? It was a real life thought because every day you having these conversations with the doctor. She having this procedure. She got to go through this. She got to go through that. And me and my wife was just like, mm -hmm. it took a toll on us. That's too much for a baby you know to be saying? going through. Right. And then, and it and then was, there's parents it was to handle. There's yeah, parents, there's parents to, handle. to handle. And then, you know, and then, again, then people forget. Now you got to be an athlete. You got to play. Now you got to play. That's what they and think. You got to wear this poker face. Mm -hmm. uh, he's not playing up to his potential. He's doing this. He's doing that. Uh, what's going on? How about his daughter right. is in the hospital and he might have something else going on? Believe Maybe. It, believe it or believe not. Believe it or not. <laughs> believe it or not. It just might have, you know what I'm saying? And people really think that you're just supposed to play through it all and, oh, well, she'll be okay, but go out there and win us right. a game. Who the fuck is us? Right. <laughs> Who the right. fuck is us? How can you mentally go back to that state? Like, like it's, it's not possible. You can't. So, I don't care how much you paying me or whatever. It don't, none yeah, of that matters. You none of that matters. Back. If that's the case, right? Shit. But after, I mean, thank God she's doing. She doing. How old is she now? Man, she too. Okay. She walking. She's so. trying to. She not. She she not talking yet, but mm -hmm. she's doing a little sign language and stuff. He posted a picture of them recently, of both of them, man. Yeah. They're beautiful babies. She got man. a younger beautiful. sister. We had uh, another one. Y'all loaded. How about you got four? Four girls. Ooh, all girls. All I girls, got five girls. Bro. Dude, so I know they all under one roof, though, right? Yeah, yeah they no, all under yeah. one roof. It's, it's five, five against one. Man. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool, Tell, though, yeah. because I, my wife tell me all the time, like, she asked me, you want a boy, huh? You want a boy? I said, babe, you want to you know God's honest truth? I ain't tripping. I got four girls. Right. Mm -hmm. What's five going to do for me? But help me. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the, the, the day and age that we live in and... The females around in, in this industry and area, I need to have six, seven girls because ain't nobody gonna raise these girls the way I'm gonna raise them. Like, you can't, mm -hmm. the, for the culture, we need more young African American, powerful young black women. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I know that I could provide and be that male figure in their life that, where they can be that and they could do that and then yeah. we can prosper as a, as a culture. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just about, oh man, what about such and such? You going such and such gonna be messing with your daughter? Da, 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 bro, you simple minded. If I raise my daughter the right way, I ain't never gotta worry about that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. People don't. It, it's not like the fact that, that you would think about short that. Mind, right. Short Like, what did you? You know what? Have a good day, bro. I don't even think like that with my. You know like, what I'm saying? You know what yeah, saying? yeah. Have a good day, bro. Who raised you, boy? What's Who the raised what, you? What's the best part about <laughs> being a dad to you? Best part. Man, every time I walk in the house, it's Christmas. Girl, they yeah. love you. Man, I'm the rock I got three star, boys, bro. so. Yeah, they it's like, different. what's up, Pop? Right, it's different. You trying to play the game? Right. Nah, all right, I'm going to go shoot these hoops. See, my girl, bro, and they like, like my oldest. She's she just like her mother. She, like, I'll be in the house chilling, playing a video game or something, and she'll come in the room. Hey, Daddy, what's going on? How you doing? I'm like, I'm good, baby. What's good? None, just wanted to check on you. You need anything? That's you want something to drink? You want mm -hmm. some food? I'm like, nah, babe, I'm, I'm good. Appreciate right. it. All right, mm -hmm. I'll be over here. Hit me. I I'll lie, it. I bet. I get off the game, man. Fuck this game. Babe, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Just like, shit like that is just like, man, it's, it's irreplaceable. So when people are like, yo, you want to play again? Like, bro, I'm having so much fun with my kids, bro. I don't, we don't never get this time. Right. You, you don't get it saying? back. I mean, that's why I walked away. People don't realize I signed a three year contract uh, in Sacramento to kind of finish my career out. They trade Boogie. We have talks. I'm trying to win. End up going to the Warriors. We win. And with two more years left on my deal, I miss my kids. You know what I mean? I was going through some ugly shit where I wasn't going to see my kids as much. Like, you don't get none of this time back, no, bro. None back. of this time back. Bro. You know what I mean? So that's why I chose to walk away after 14 years was because, like, my boys are seven, eight, nine. They're about to be 11 in a, in, in a couple of weeks. Like, this is when they need me the most. Real. You know what I mean? So, I, like you said, it, to be able to humanize us and let people know, like, we re we, we regular dudes. We just happen to, to, to do something really well and get paid a lot of money for it. Right. But don't take us, it don't make us any different from the, the, the day in, day out shit we got to deal with. Right. Life in general. Exactly. Life is tough. Exactly. It's just that I'm really good at, at a job that, you, that everybody, a lot of people like and that do. pays me a lot of money mm -hmm. for it. Still, I mean, it doesn't make me no better than a teacher or a doctor who out there saving lives. Y'all actually teaching the kids. Mm -hmm. They're actually giving my kids knowledge that I'm supposed to trust and believe that, that they're going to use this going forward. Y'all play just as much of a biggest role as we do. And mm -hmm. then these be the same people who be like, oh, I don't understand why he gets in there. Like, bro, like, it ain't my fault. It's just the way life is. That's the way it go. Facts. 
All right, we're going to hit you with some quick takes. Uh, just first thing that comes to your mind. Golf. I hear you love golf. Tell me about golf. Where'd you, how'd you get started with that? Moses Malone. Rest in really? Peace, man. Rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, Rashad Lewis. Uh, he had a, a golf out in, in Texas, his first one. And he's like, yo, come through. You know what I mean? Show love. And um, I can say this, but I was single at the time. <laughs> um, so we, we was out there chilling and shit. Um, I'm messing with the car girls, taking shots. I ain't play golf at the time. And so I'm messing with everybody group, dudes hitting the ball in the water, hitting it in the woods. I'm like, man, y'all ass, this shit is easy. So Moses Malone, I pull up on Moses Malone group, like, man, young fella, come hit this ball. I'm like, man, I guess Hall of Famers. I don't, that's one thing I don't do. Hall of Famers, and disres I don't disrespect them, and they tell me to do something. I don't give a damn if it's go to the stand and give me a hot dog. I got you. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, I was like, all right, fuck it. Get up there, hit the ball 300 yards down the fairway. First time. First time. He's like, man, I said, man, that shit easy. Get it, give him, throw the club back, get in the golf cart, pull off. You know what I'm saying? Take some, run around, talk shit again, pull up on this group again. Young fella, come hit this ball again. He's telling people and shit. Now, now it's like a little crowd. Bro, I, I get up there, I couldn't hit the fucking ball, bro. Couldn't. Couldn't hit the ball. After that, I was hooked. I went to the golf store, got like three sets of clubs. <laughs> tried to, I'm, 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 I'm going to get this sets. shit. Yeah. For sure. And then been playing ever since. That you went it. on some kind of tour this, this summer, golf courses, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah what, what, kind of, what, kind of, what, 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 what courses you hit? Like just in Cali? Um, nah, it's in, I hit a few courses in Cali. I played all the San Fran courses, Cal Club, um, San Francisco Golf Club. Um, Damn. This is Harden Park. And it's a, uh, I went to spot in Oregon. So they call this joint the Solstice. It's called Band of Dunes. They got uh, four of the top 100 courses mm. in the, at the same spot. But it, in the Solstice, you gotta, it's supposed to be the longest day of the year. So you play golf from sunup to sundown. Mm. So we played 72 holes, <sighs> Damn. walked the whole time. Walked? Walked. So we teed off at like 540. That's four and got rounds off, of walked golf? Off the, walked off at like 830. Exhausted. <sighs> No way. Dead. No that way. Mental, people don't understand unless you play that mental focus is, is, is what, what drains you. Yeah. I need a quarter pound and to make like, it through that. <laughs> <laughs> Whole QP. <laughs> to a pack of backwoods, all eight packs, but I need them all fresh. Bro. I don't need the ones with the stems in it. I need the fresh <laughs> pack with all five of them. You know what I mean? I don't That's need to have no duds. Nah, I need a 10 pack a new pack. QP. Yeah. I can make it through 72 holes. I don't care where that ball go after that after half of that QP. Better better golf for you or Steph? Steph. Steph is a problem. Can you play with him? Yeah. You I can really play? Him, uh, I, yeah, he could, he could play. I played with him a while ago. There was a CP wedding, but he got so much better. Even since then, he could play. D. Will could play. Mm -hmm. Ray could play. J. Kidd. Kyle Corr is really good. Is he? Yeah. When did you, what age did you get your first tattoo? I was 15. My sister, I didn't even want to get one at first. My sister wanted to get one, and she was acting all scared and shit. So I was like, all right, I'll go with you. And um, my mo my mom took us and shit. One of her one of her people's, uh, some biker dude knew, did tats and shit. So he tatted us up, and um, like two weeks later, I went back. I got my other side, because you know, you in high school and shit, you get your tat. You, you want to show it off, up. hell you yeah. Your, you know what uh -huh. I mean? You got to join out. Yeah. Everybody was loving it. I was like, oh, nah. <laughs> oh, nah. I'm going back <laughs> for sure. It was over. It was over. You covered in them now, right? Yeah, yeah I'm I'm working on my legs now. Yeah. What's your most painful tattoo? They look like that shin. Yeah, that shin, shin is no joke. I, I'm saying you got shin all kind knee, of shit God. on there, I'm too. coming up on his knee, knee bro. See, I'm cool and all. I want to do my legs, but I ain't trying to get no unnecessary pain like on the kneecaps and all that. Yeah, I ain't, that's why I ain't going. Though, that's ain't, why I ain't going to the knees. There bro. ain't much I'm there. Over here. But you know what's crazy? It's easier for the, like, the healing process here is so much yeah. better. You know what I'm saying? Man, what a joke. numbing shit at. Who got the, whoever got Bruh. the numbing shit that work, man, all the smoke, send me some. I ain't sure. trying to be superhero and nah. gangster, man. I took uh -huh. mine. Listen, Yo, where the numbing shit I'm at? Tell you I need one it. Thing, bro. It's a lot of people out here who is. Flamed up, tatted. 
We went through that number cream, bro. So don't feel bad. It's yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm trying to numb yeah. myself. I want to, like, man, no, put me really out works, and just man. tattoo yeah. me to, I, till I'll, you got to wake me up, I'll bro. I'll swim in that shit if it, if it really yeah, works. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I just got the nip done on my hand and yeah, I had numbed that bitch for like an hour and a half before. Numbing cream. As soon as he got ready, the first day, I said, oh. <laughs> you attached to say numbing cream. Oh, man, like a motherfucker. My hand, I think my ribs and my elbow are probably the worst. Hey, get, your tattoo, hey, get your tattoo. Say numbing cream. Man, right what? Shit, nigga. That shit hurt. That would not bro, hurt, bro. You know what's you know what's funny? I was uh, when Chuck came to the team. I was uh, I was I always I kept asking. I'm like, yo, bro, your hands hurt. Like, what's that joint like? He was like, he's like, yeah, man, my hands hurt, but the dude ain't do how I wanted it. I was like, why? Well, right, bet. This is at the practice one day. So the next day, we got <laughs> we got a game. We play at Sacramento. In, in Denver, I go to the tattoo shop at like seven, do, do this hand, <laughs> go to practice, lead the tattoo shop, do, do the other hand, go play the game. I, when I tell you my hands are so like, swollen. Whoa. Yeah. At 40. <laughs> Did you? And killed? Only, only switch. Ooh. Ooh, man, you should switch. swell up like a boxing glove Went when you get crazy. your hand tattooed. Yo, you should swell up like a boxing glove. No every bullshit. time the ball touched my hand, Ooh. my hands was hurting so bad from the past. You had to I shoot just that shot bitch. that shit. For sure. That shit was going in. <laughs> that shit was going in. Unconscious. Unconscious. <laughs> that shit was crazy. It's too many veins, man. I'm, I just, you got a lot of veins in your hand, man. I know that shit hurt. I'm man. cool on that. Mike or Kobe? Mike. Mike is always my... I, I, I mean, Kobe, I think Kobe was more polished, but Mike was just raw. Killer. Killer. It's hard for, like, you can't, that's like, that's like asking you Bruce Lee or the IP man. You gotta go to IP because he taught Bruce. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So he the master. Oh, yeah. You know, as, as much as he want to be him, he can't never him. be him because I taught you everything. Right. You know? right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, I don't know, I, I get, it's tough. Bron and Kobe. See, I've I've been in the trenches with Bron. Um, so in that respect, I would say Bron. Got the, to. The the mindset and all of that. I love Kobe. See, I'm the other way because I've been in the trenches with Kobe. The you know what attitude. I mean? and, and seen right. his mindset. Yeah. That's what set him apart. And yeah. seen his work ethic. See, I'm the other way. You know what I mean? I think Kobe is 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 a you know a step ahead. Uh, to me, it's you know Mike, Kobe, Bron, but. Braun is right there with Kobe to me. Yeah, you know sure. what I mean. But like you said, because you went to war with him, I've been to war with Kobe. It's it's seeing. I called it a beautiful mind. Right, crazy. For sure. You know, obsessed. Whatever the fuck it may be, and made him who they are. Yeah. Both of them bust that, my man. ass <laughs> a couple times. Man, it's like it's like when you see it. It's like when you watch watching them play. It's like it's like watching him paint this. When I seen him do the joint. It's like a uh, uh, slow it up and then like watching it. You can put music behind it. Is watching it's the artist art. paint is is is, a, is one of the most beautiful things ever. Cause you get to see you don't know where they going with it, and you can just and at the end of the picture you just be like damn. Amazing. You watch Bron play, you be like yo, I don't know how he doing it or where he going with it. But and then you look up, he got 40, 15, <laughs> 17, six steals, and we just barely won. Crazy. And the only reason why we won is because he did some off the wall one leg fadeaway away shit and one hand lefty. That only come from greatness. That only that is the only way. <laughs> if anybody else shot that shot in that arena, yeah. we could have went through all twenty two thousand of them motherfuckers. Yeah, he's the only person that would have made it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just when you see that day in and day out, and then you see the determination behind it to do it day in and day out every single day. It's it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. I mean, when I walk in the gym, I love, like, people, I love to see somebody else working because I need that. So when I go, now it's my, th I'm, I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? People are like, oh, Yo, you go to 24 Hour Fitness a lifetime? I need to see that because somebody else is working while I'm just sitting there talking to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's, for me as a competitor, I never want somebody else to have a one up on me. If I, if, if I go to the gym right now, right, and I know he been in the gym, all day, every day, all summer, and I'm sporadically throughout the weeks. Uh, I know that he gonna have a better chance of busting my ass. So why would I give him that opportunity? Mm -hmm. He gonna he gonna take full advantage of shit. I know I would. No question. But I'm damn sure going to. 
You better believe it. Everything is coming out of the trick bag. Everybody. Right. <laughs> Anybody can get it. I, I ain't that. had a chance to do this in the season either. Right. You're getting it now. Time to work on my For shit. For sure. And it's going to work. You yeah. better believe it. Craziest, we'll, we'll wrap after this. Craziest story you could tell us about throughout your career that stands out. Craziest story. <laughs> I said you can tell us about it. You know, you got you to gotta, something just tell me. You, you ask somebody minutes. like us that question, shit. Right. Which one? I got so if you, many. If you have none kind of mind, we ain't got to worry night, about it. Last night, the week before that, uh, two, shit, I got so many. It's t man, you get so many playing with dude. Like, bro, for me, I play with BD. As, as a young boy. As a young boy. BD. In the boot. CP. Um, Melo, Chauncey, AI, Kmart, MC, Amari, uh, J Kid, Br I mean, Bron, Kyrie, K Love. I play with so many people. It's just like that experience. That's it. You Crazy. know what I'm saying? Some that's of the greats. People, yeah. And it's A like, lot of them. If I never play another game again, I like I talk. We was talking to Sam Cassell last night, man. Al, he's like, one thing you could the only thing you could take away from this game is your money and your memories. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. This is the one. Th if you want to take anything away from this game, is your money and your memories. That's all you really need. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, all, that's you, all, you that's all you need. All you want. Yeah. I could. I remember going in the locker room with these dudes every day, going to war and all of that shit, and I loved every minute of it. I don't not, and I don't regret none mm -hmm. of it because I know when I was out there with y'all, I gave y'all everything I had. And if it wasn't good enough at the time, shit, it just damn wasn't good enough. Y'all going to have to accept it. Because the dance shit wasn't good enough for me at times <laughs> when I was bringing my shit and you wasn't. <laughs> so it just is what it is. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so, sir. Well, we appreciate you, man. Thank you appreciate for coming. Boy, man. Spending time. You know that. Sure. You know that. Appreciate you, know you coming, my boy. That's a wrap, man. Episode one in the can. J.R. Smith, we appreciate you. Hopefully see you on the, on the court. Man, yeah, yeah you got to keep man. us updated, man. As for soon sure. as the Lakers sign you, we know you about to buy a house out here anyway, so yeah. Lakers, you might as well. He's here. You know what I mean? He's here anyway, so. Come on. And I'm, I'm going to work out anyway. So free him. Well. Free J.R. Free Mellow. <laughs> we'll see y'all next week. <laughs>